More breaking news right now. We'll learn more about a very chaotic scene in Over the Rhine this morning after police respond to a shots fired call near a school. WLWT News 5's Meredith Sutz has been following this story all morning and is learning more about how one of those suspects managed to get inside the school building, Meredith. Yeah, truly incredible details that I'll walk you all through in just a few minutes. But wow, Cincinnati police are still reviewing surveillance footage and also conducting interviews after a crazy morning. Stephen and Ashley for families, schools and also law enforcement that ended with the arrest of two juvenile males. So let's roll it back to just after eight o'clock this morning when this all started reportedly from a shots fired call off Antique Street. And that is near Rothenburg Prep Academy. Now, CPD tells me it appears this was a shots in the air situation. No reports of injuries or property damage. Still, Rothenberg was put in a lock-in protocol. Police began searching for suspects, which led them to a matching car description of a white car at the Shell gas station off Liberty. Now, when officers arrived, two suspects reportedly ran off. Now, a witness at a nearby business in the old Moorline business building tells me that the suspects calmly asked to wait inside for a ride, they said, but were soon confronted by police. Now, one was arrested on site, but one got away from police, according to that witness. Now, new this afternoon, the Archdiocese of Cincinnati says that nearby St. Francis Seraph School confirmed that while it was in lockdown, one of the suspects, get this, climbed over the school fences and entered the school through a first floor staff bathroom window. The school says staff found him and he was escorted out by Cincinnati police. Again, we're told no one was hurt in this incident. We're told that both schools are now resumed normal activities. No word on ages of those suspects, as well as a third person we're told is identified as a female who was taken in for questioning surrounding these circumstances. Now, I did witness a couple families at St. Francis today pick up their students out of an abundance of caution, they told me, but one mom told me that she did not receive any information, be that a phone call, a text, or an email, until well after this circumstance was wrapped up by police. So we'll keep you updated on any new information we get about those suspects and also about protocol by those schools. Reporting live, Meredith Sutz, WLWT, News 5.